Hey, there's Asante here from the Tech Muse Academy for the Artist Promotion Blueprint. Um, if you follow the uh, Artist Promotion Blueprint over at artistpromotionblueprint.com, uh, you'll know that one of the things that I talk a lot about is the importance of, of building your own sort of home or house on the internet, um, I, aka your own website. Some kind of property online that you own and have 100% control over, I think is a very, very important first step to starting any kind of, um, you know, internet marketing campaign for you as an artist or a band. Band or, or anything else for that matter. Um, so I wanted to quickly walk you through uh, how easy it is to set to, to set one up um, using some of the services and tools that I use and recommend wholeheartedly. And I'll provide links beneath the video in the description or um, over at artistpromotionblueprint.com if you're watching this on YouTube. So um, one of the first things you need to consider when setting up your website or when preparing to set up your website is hosting, where you're going to host your uh, your site so that it can be accessed by the masses. Now, the, the web host that I use is a company called Bluehost. Now, there are lots of different reputable web hosting services out there. I happen to recommend Bluehost because A, I use them and have experience with them. All of my websites are hosted with Bluehost. And B, they, they have an excellent service. Um, another thing that's very nice about Bluehost is that they will allow you for your single uh, monthly hosting fee to have unlimited domains. So in other words, you can have multiple websites all on the same hosting account with no additional fees. So for, for a fellow like myself who does, uh, you know, who has his fingers in a few different pies, so to speak, it's a, it's a very convenient uh, feature. So anyway, what I'm going to do is log into my Bluehost control panel right now and show you exactly how I would go about setting up a website. The other day I bought um, desasante.com as a domain name. That's my name for those of you who don't know. Um, and I'm going to uh, show you really quickly how to build a website uh, setting, setting up your hosting at Bluehost. So once you've signed up for Bluehost and chosen your uh, um, your uh, your package, be it paying for a year up front or two years up front or whatever, I recommend the longer the better because you get a better price, then you'll be able to log into your Bluehost control panel. So I'm going to do that right now for you and show you how simple this can be. And good old password should log me in. Now, I bought my domain name um, through a company called Hover. Bluehost allows you to buy and register domain names as well. Um, I happen to be using Hover. They give a, a good competitive price per year. So I bought my domain desasante.com through Hover for $15 for a year. Um, so what I need to do first is point those uh, that domain to my Bluehost servers. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, let's see. I'm going to find the domain manager here. There it is. All right, and if I select one of my, uh, these are all some of the different uh, domains that I, uh, I have attached to my account. Um, if I go over here to name servers, these are the name servers that uh, I need to point my domain from Hover to. So if I go over to hover.com right here, this is my desasante.com uh, right here. I can go into name servers and edit that. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste the appropriate servers. And if you don't understand what name servers and all that is about, don't worry, because you don't need to. So I'm just going to replace that with this. And I'm going to take the secondary one. Oops. Copy that. And paste it in there and save. So that's how uh, you redirect your domain to your hosting. Okay, so just to reiterate, I bought my domain with hover.com, $15 for a year, and I've registered hosting with Bluehost, so I just had to take that domain and point them to the Bluehost name servers so that everything syncs up. And now we should be okay. So I'm gonna add the uh, domain here. And let's see. Go back a page here. My, uh, I'm on a different computer, so my multi-touch gestures are not set up <laughs> the way I'm used to. Um, let's see. Go to add-on domains. Type in my domain there. Oh, wow, without the Ws. 
There we go. <clears throat> All right, and that's going to be an add-on domain and choose a directory, create a new directory. It's going to be Desasante and simple as that. I'm just going to add that domain. I'm just going to stop and start that again. There we go. This domain is already assigned as an add-on domain to your account. Oh, well then. Desasante.com. There it is. Groovy. So now what I can do is go back to my C panel. That's control panel, by the way. Bear with my slow network connection today. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's me or if it's them. <laughs> There we go. So now one of the nice things about Bluehost is it's got a simple script feature for installing WordPress. So if I scroll down to software and services and click on WordPress right here, that brings me to uh, list all my available domains and allows me to install WordPress. So what I'm going to do is click the install button. I'm going to pick the domain that I want to install on, which is the desasante.com that I just added. <clears throat> Um, you can go into advanced options here and choose the name of your site and admin and a password. I'm going to say uh, Desasante as the name. Uh, admin, you can change that to something else if you want. And I'm going to say make a password and the password is going to be password for now. By the way, that will be changed by the time you see this video, so <laughs> don't get no funny ideas. Um, and then it's automatically going to create a new database for me. Check that you've read uh, and agreed to the terms and conditions and click complete. And in a matter of uh, moments, it's going to install WordPress in all the right places, all the right files in all the right places. It's going to create a user, admin, and, and the password that I can log in then and access my site. And uh, within moments, I'll be ready to start populating my site with content, choosing themes, and so on and so forth. Okay, So it looks like it's done. I can go now here. My login username is admin. My password is password. And if I click desasante.com slash WP dash admin will take you to uh, the logon page. So I'm going to log in here with username admin, password, password. And just like that, I am in the back end of my website. Um, already, having not done anything, if I click here to see the website, desasante.com, this is what it looks like already, just from installing WordPress. So I've got a little bit of a, bit of a theme installed. I can go ahead and add uh, posts and pages and so forth. So I'm just going to go back into my uh, WordPress here and go into pages. We got this sample page. I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to call it uh, about about me and some content. This is where you would read all about me. Very nice. Um, and publish. I now have a page on my website called about me. Um, let's add another one. We're going to call this contact. And I'm going to publish that page. And I'll show you how I like to set up my contact forms in a moment. And first things I like to do now that I've got uh, a couple of pages, um, there's a sample post in there too. Uh, one of the main differences, th I like to think of the pages as the, the, the bones of the website, the skeleton, and the posts are the flesh, the content that you're going to constantly be adding to your site to keep it interesting and entertaining for your visitors, okay? Um, so now there's a sample post here called Hello World. For now, we'll just leave that, okay? A couple of things, though, that you do want to do before you get too deep into it. First, I like to go into Settings under General. Make sure you uh, put your site title and tagline in here. Um, these are not only for the visitor, but also for Google to to, uh, to know what your site is all about and to know where to index it in its uh, uh, ranking index, okay? So I'm just going to say the 
all kind of hedonistic here, but all about Des. Oops. <laughs> okay, um, so that's my site title and my tagline, and I'll save changes. Another thing you're going to want to do is under reading. You can have here, you, if you want your homepage, desasante.com, to be just a running blog, uh, like a running updated uh, version of your blog on the main page, or if you want to create a static homepage that is always the same for every visitor, this is how you would do it. You would select static page and you choose which page you want it to be, okay? For now, I'm just going to leave it as posts, okay? Um, and save changes. The other thing you're going to want to do is under privacy is you can decide here whether you want to allow the search engines to index your site so that people will start to find you. Perhaps when you're just starting to build the site, maybe you want to uh, ask the search engines not to index the file until you get some flesh on the bones and you got something to present. So I'm going to leave it for now. And the other thing is very important is your permalinks. You want your permalinks. Permalinks is basically how every post and page is going to, how the URL is going to be written out. So if it's desasante.com slash, you know, post 1300, that means nothing to both the user or, or Google. So what I prefer to do is use um, post name as my permalink structure. So it would be desasante.com slash name of the post. So if I did a post on, um, I don't know, amazing things about Desasante, it would be desasante.com slash amazing things about Desasante. So now the, the both the visitor and Google have an insight into what that page is about, okay? And then save your changes. Okay. The other thing you're going to want to do is go under appearance under themes and start searching around for some nice themes. Now, as I mentioned, this is what the site looks like at the moment. Okay. There's the Des Asante All About Des. That's the site title and tagline. Um, and there's my one post. That's the Hello World. There's the pages I created about me. If we click on that, this is where you would read all about me just as I typed it. Okay. Um, and the contact page. So, but this is just the standard built in WordPress theme. What I like to do is go into uh, and start browsing. And you can look all over the internet, just Google for themes. If I go into install themes up at the top here, and go to up. Uh, actually, you could upload if you've downloaded something from a third third party service, or you could search through WordPress.com's database. There's a number of themes here to choose from. Here's one that I kind of like right here called Light World. Let's uh, Light Word, excuse me. Let's install that. Just click install now. And uh, again, you can, hopefully you can see why I really enjoy working with WordPress because it's very, very simple. Now I can simply click activate or I could preview it if I'm not sure. I've just activated that theme. And now if we go and check out my website again, it now looks like this. There's my title, tagline. There's the first post. These are the pages that I've got created. They haven't been added to the menu because this theme has a customizable menu. Um, but, but I could do that, of course, right now very quickly. Let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go into appearance under menus. And I'm going to create a menu, and I'm just going to call it main menu and say create menu. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose main menu as the menu I want to use on my site, and I'm going to populate it with some content. We're going to put my pages there, add those to the menu, and I'm also uh, actually that that will do for now, to be honest with you, and I'll save that menu. And now if I go back and look at the site, there is the menu, contact, about me, there's the pages that I created. Now, I want the contact to be last, so what I'm going to do is just simply move it down there and save the menu. And look at my site again, now contact is last, okay? And right now, if you click on contact, however, it doesn't have any, you can leave a comment, but I, I'd like to do something a little nicer than that. So what I'm going to do is go into plugins. This is another reason why I really enjoy WordPress. I'm going to say add new. And I'm going to do a search for contact seven. Uh, oh, it's actually contact form seven. That should get me there quicker. There it is. And I'm just going to install contact form seven. Yes, I'd like to install that. And I'm going to activate that plugin. Now you'll see I have new, a new setting right here on my uh, um, dashboard. I can go to contact right here. And this is the, the short code that allows me to embed a nice, if I can copy it, that is, 
copy. A nice contact form. So you can put in my email, desisante at hotmail.com right there. I can change that to whatever email I like. Now, I've copied this short code. So I'm just going to go over to my pages again. Go to my contact page. And just paste that right in there. And update that page. And now if I view that page right here. There's a nice contact form where you can enter your name, your email, your subject, and your message and send, and that will go directly to my inbox, okay? So I hope you can kind of see how simple it is uh, to build your website and populate it with content and update it and maintain it if you use a platform like WordPress and how, uh, how pretty simple it is to install WordPress if you use a hosting service like Bluehost. And like I said, Bluehost gives you unlimited domains. So once you've paid for your year or two years or whatever of hosting, you can go ahead and build website after website. All you've got to do is buy a new domain name for 15 bucks. I like to use hover.com for that, but you can buy them right from within Bluehost as well. Um, Pricing is very competitive no matter where you go. And then uh, install the WordPress using the Bluehost simple script inside your control panel. And, and then log into your WordPress dashboard and start playing. Um, so like I say, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and can get some great use out of it and get your, your house online started today. And I will leave links to my recommended services beneath this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.